How's it going everyone? Phil here from Furious Technology. Today we are checking out the Nike Air More Up Tempos. Yes, the Scotty Pippins originally released in 1996. This is the first retro of them from 2016. So they did a 20 year anniversary and I have an original 2016 pair. I mean original, I say original, as in it's a 2016, the re-release of it, not the 2020, which they did come out with later on as well. But we'll take them out right here. We'll put the box aside for a second and let's have a look at these very, very iconic looking shoe because of the big AIR on there. The big air on there, they've got the full bubble on them as well that goes all the way around very very cool even to this side as well so it's just a very very cool looking shoe i mean it's one of my favorite all-time looking shoes i just love the big air on there i mean you just see this shoe you know these are the scotty pippins and i remember when i was back in school when somebody that i knew had these shoes and i saw them and i was like oh my gosh i love them so much so just such an iconic looking shoe so let's go over uh, some things about it so the retro editions as well as the originals as well as the 2020 retros unfortunately had one little issue i've worn these i think once if i'm not mistaken outside maybe barely you can even tell on the bottom barely worn it at all but if we look at the back you can see this check mark right here is completely yellowed. This is just from storage. It just happened from storage. I, I store them in a plastic bag and then the paper and for some reason this does change color and that's a known issue with these shoes. So unfortunately it does yellow so it does look kind of a little bit weird but nonetheless that side profile look it's just it's amazing it's so iconic i absolutely love it uh it's all synthetic not like real leather or anything like that and uh we've got the tongue right here which has got these things right here which the air uh up tempos had so that was a common thing for the air up tempos they did have the um the other variations of them the air i can't remember the exact name but they did have the single bubble just on the back right here so they're kind of the cheaper versions of them but nonetheless these are the most iconic ones and next up our furious 50 rating where we're gonna rate this shoe out of 50. first thing is looks and this shoe gets an absolute well-deserved 10 out of 10 for looks it is iconic it's one of those shoes that you just see and if you're a sneakerhead you definitely know these are the scotty pippin air more up tempo so 10 out of 10 for looks moving on to comfort comfort these are a little bit hard the sole of the shoe uh, and the flexibility of them it's very very hard so they are like i mean you just look at this this you cannot flex this at all. It is rock solid of a shoe. So comfort wise, unfortunately, they only get a five out of 10. Moving on to quality of these shoes. The quality is fairly good. I have noticed, I mean, obviously, the quality build of these, this this part right here, not so much because of that yellowing, so it does lose some marks for there. It is synthetic, it's not like a leather. Uh, the material will wear a little bit over time if you're gonna wear these. They're not waterproof or anything like that, so they're mainly gonna be like an indoor basketball shoe, per se, but these will receive a seven out of 10 for quality. For value, Next is quality and the Air More Up Tempos get a seven out of 10 for quality. Now we do know they obviously were gonna miss those marks for the yellowing in the back of the shoe. But other than that, the shoe itself is fairly, fairly good quality. It is synthetic, it's not leather or anything like that. And over time, this material is gonna wear a little bit, but it's mainly gonna be an indoor shoe. It's not gonna be a wet weather or outdoor shoe or whatnot. I mean, you're gonna use these maybe as a casual shoe nowadays and not necessarily for basketball because there's way better shoes you can get now that are newer technology for basketball that are gonna be much more comfortable. But quality wise, nonetheless, I do give them a seven out of 10. Moving on to value. Now these ones, when you purchase them in store nowadays, they're gonna run you between the 160 to 200 um, if you can find like the newer variations of them. The retro variations like these ones right here, I paid 160 for these brand new and now they're selling for just over 300. So uh, value wise, uh, pretty good. They're going up in value right now. As far as you purchasing them for 300 and are they gonna go higher than that? 
Mm, I would say they're probably not going to go a lot higher than that. They're kind of plateaued at the value that they're at right now, but they do get a solid, solid eight out of 10 for value. And moving on to collectability. Now, collectability, uh, it's basically... Now, moving on to collectability, the Airmore Up Tempos are going to get a solid eight out of 10. You guys know like I said many times, very, very iconic look, especially the black with the white trim on them. That's the, the Scotty Pippen original uh, one. So these are definitely gonna be pretty high in the collectability scale. Not gonna be as high as say Jordan 11s or like say some of the, uh, the collectible Yeezys and whatnot, but a solid eight out of 10 for the Air More Up Tempos. And when we add that all up, the Air More Up Tempos get a 38 out of 50, which is a very, very good score. It is so far our highest score in our shoe reviews. Tons more coming up, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with me and your thoughts on the Air More Up Tempos. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.